Okay, so we're on our way to go see Mad Max. And she yawns on the first. <laughs> go, 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 go. I don't even know what the heck to do now. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's just too funny. Okay, so we're on our way, right? Where, where are we going again? We're going to the movie theaters. <laughs> to go the go movie. To go see Mad Max. Okay, we're going to see Mad Max. We're going to Sunset. Um, Sunset here. here in Miami, Florida. No, what's the mall? Sunset Mall. Sunset Lake. Sunset. Yes. Yeah. We're going to the 7 o'clock showing. I think they had three of them, but we picked the earliest one. Did you say they had it at 3D? No, the 3D comes out tomorrow. Oh, okay. Today they're only showing the, the regular. So, yeah, we're gonna... So, yeah, I'm expecting a lot of good things out of this movie. <laughs> to me, I believe it's going to be one of the best movies coming out this summer. It's going to be a shit. I know there's other movies, you know, like you have Poacher Guys, San Andreas, you had the Avengers, but, but to me, we'll this one will be. And we're gonna let you guys know what our views are on it. Yeah. But for now, we're gonna go. We're gonna go, we're gonna spend like 100 it's, bucks in popcorn no, okay, and soda, no, cause you know, they're very expensive. It's yeah, that's, she's exaggerating. <laughs> we're gonna go and enjoy this two hours I know the film is for two hours I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot of explosion action and craziness yeah, we will let you guys know what we think about the movie after hopefully it turns out to be good in my opinion I won't be disappointed but we never know say that we're like a few days behind on this in case you're wondering why okay we look different or whatever this is like what four or five days later Yep. Finishing this review because we've been caught up on some things. Just in case, but I don't know. But yeah, Mad Max was actually pretty cool. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it also. Nothing, nothing compared to the original. A whole different story. A whole different setting. Well, the name is Mad Max Fury, Fury Road. Road. So. So it's a whole different, a whole different storyline. You pretty best. much, you don't know, hear, like, mm -hmm. you, Bad Max doesn't really talk much. He, he has some scenes here and there. Where he says like one or two few words. It's not really his story. Yeah, it's if, basically more of the Charlie Theron story. Which your name is Furiosa in the movie. Awesome, by the way. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tried to recreate that. Her and the, um, what were the boys called? I forgot what the boys were called. Well, there's like these different like boys and men that they're all in white, but they have like these scars. They kind of almost like some like skeleton. Pretty cool. And then there was the main guy. I think he was like the, one of the leaders. I forgot his name. Um, apparently, he had like five wives or something like that. His whole suit costume was pretty badass. Yeah, the costume and the design, everything was really, really amazing. Like, to me, it was looked like it really took a lot of time and money to, that they put into this movie. The overall storyline is, you know, they have this king there who basically is control of the. He's in control of like the water, the women. So whenever he wants, he will end up giving water to all you have like probably say like around 10,000 people that are, that are underneath in this mountain and they're all dying of, thir of thirst because it's so high and you know it's in the desert so he sends out I guess a mission to send out his best driver which is Furiosa to go deliver gas um, to this other city and during that time she ends up taking a detour and he goes to look and finds out that she has taken, I think, five of his wives. That he, I, I want to say he used them to, like, so he, they could produce babies for him. The perfect babies. Yeah. Apparently, they had babies that were very deformed. And you'll see that in the movie. I'm guessing all those kids, I'm assuming, there's not really much of the story, but the main idea was, you know, trying to find land, water, which we find out they already have. Yeah, Mad 
climaxing it, he ends up getting captured by the by the group, this group, this group there, and he ends up being being taken to this place, and he tries to escape, but he ends up getting captured again, and then you end up seeing him um, when during the scene where Furiosa takes the detour and he's like attached, he's like riding in front of this car because they're using him as a blood source for one of the one of the humans there. They're they're supposed to be like these soldiers. Yeah, but you know, way. the boys that are like, oh, yeah, like they're they have a name. Why? I can't remember the name. But so that's when you when you see him again and he's there and of course he escapes and he ends up joining Furiosa and, her, and the mission to take these the girls to this place called the Green the Greenland where she grew up in and you know from there on it's pure like action explosion Not like stuff. everyone is, is going after them in order Which to help we, we saw it IMAX right? no we saw, we saw a regular, regular. Okay. IMAX 3D we yeah. saw it on a Thursday IMAX 3D was on for Friday so that's why we couldn't which, I, in my opinion, I don't... Like, you could tell which... You could tell when you watch it normal where that I wouldn't scenes. think it, it would, like, be worth watching in 3D. Because, the, basically, there's a scene, probably, like, towards, like, the 20 minutes towards the end that you kind of could see only one section look like it could be the 3D part. But from beginning to end, I don't really think it's worth... You could watch it normal or IMAX is fine, but paying 3D, I don't think it's worth it, in my opinion. Yeah, there's this like guy there crazy. with a the guitar. They put like these crazy, like oh, you, when you see the car, it, you're gonna see all these crazy. It kind of reminds me of like, Resident Evil in a way. Those, like, not the nurses, but some of the creatures. They had, had no face, just like teeth. Uh, yeah. But it's and funny. And the cars are kind of like, if you think of, um, Death Race, except you know, they don't shoot, mi um, missiles or stuff like that. Yeah, you, you, they, their cars, you, they usually have like. The soldiers, the white people soldiers, like throwing arrows with explosive on them, or, or they have these machine guns set up on top of the car and they'll shoot you through there. And by the way, they are brainwashed for some reason. I don't, yeah, I don't know. They're brainwashed what by the king because the leader, what he told them, I think they they spray like yeah, they spray this thing yeah, to in make their mouth. because they're like, oh, if you shine bright, uh, you be renewed. You, yeah, they give you. They give you Sacrifice yourself, you'll be renewed and rewarded. And there's a lot of that. So a lot of people sacrifice themselves. Craziness. And apparently they don't depend on water, they depend on blood. Yeah, the, the soldiers. That's why they look for, like, Mad Max got in the middle of that and got caught. And he was like one of the, the, the human blood bank, basically. Yeah. Like, hunters, I think. I yeah, there's, hunters, but yeah, there's I'm different sure groups. The as, you, as, as you go along and they go to different areas, there's different groups, and they join in order to, you know, to stop them from reaching their destination. The leader just wants his wives. Yeah, the wife that's pregnant. Uh, I, well, I think there's a few of them pregnant, but there's one main pregnant one, which, yeah. by the way, they're all supermodels. Yeah. They're literally all supermodels. Well, not all, well, yeah. They, yeah, because when one of them is the Lenny Kravitz's daughter. Really? I didn't yeah. That. Yeah, she's she does she plays the role for one of the girls. So yeah, their their background they have is like dancing and acting, but tell they're models out of just tell. But other than that, I like the movie. I cannot wait till it yeah. comes out on Blu-ray and get it. Overall, to me, it was good. Even though I read that it didn't win the the weekend box office pitch perfect to make one more but it came in second place so it's still good to me it's still good I would not be surprised to come up with a part two at least to explain probably Mad Max compared to the the um, older versions if you've seen the older versions you know the main um, evil villain is the same guy that did this one in case you didn't yeah. know it's about I think it's like 20 years apart if I'm not mistaken 20 yeah 25 something like that so, yeah he's one of the villains and one yeah they actually got him back to play the same villain i think no no he doesn't play the same villain but he he plays the role of the villain in this one well yeah so well i think the story was they got him to play from the same mad max movies the villain yeah the same guy that played villain the, yeah the mad max yeah. villain he played the same
trying to think, like, wondering, Furiosa is the same actress she comes out in um, Prometheus. She plays, she's this blonde chick there. She's, she comes out in this movie, Monster Ball. She's done, she's, she's done very, she's done much, pretty much a lot of movies. She has a list of movies. It's kind of hard to think of some names now. But I heard, I don't know if it's true, but I heard a rumor that she's going to be playing one of the um, lead characters in Fifty Shade Freed as um, this Elena, this Elena, her last name, in one of the second part of Fifty Shades of Grey. So if that's true, I cannot wait. She's supposed to be like a, an older hot woman, and when I, you know, read the book, I thought of her. So I think she'll be perfect, especially with her transformations. Yeah, she's good at doing that. And overall, I give it five stars. Yeah, same here. I'll it's give really it good. five stars out of five. I, I really like the movie. Like, it's it's, a, it's an action movie. You're gonna see a lot of over the top things, but you it's enjoyable. It's nothing like. Not too fake. They actually, a lot of the scenes are actually real and not all CGI. Mm, you know. Yeah. And, as and Tom Hardy, he did to me, he did a perfect job playing Mad, uh, Mad Max. And like the movie theory, wasn't he like super, super pissed off that it was decent and you could tell some people were fans and yeah. had their moments, which like I guess it's well, more funny than anything. The movie theater, we, when we went to, they had three showings, so. We went to the early one at 7, they had one at 8.30, and I think they had another one at 9.30. So that's why, when we went, it wasn't as packed, but when we came out, there was a line for the 9.30 showing, so. Yeah, they came in there, like, please take your trash with you. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life, been in a movie 